guys again, Alexandra here. Today I'm back with another quick tutorial on which I'm going to show you how to use a masking hack for your text in Canva using Canva frames. Let's just say we are going to create a social media post and I will select from a couple of these templates first, for example this one. I'm just going to delete this out of the way and then we are going to elements and you are going to search for frames and here you have a lot of frames you can choose from and a frame is essentially just that a shape or a form in which you can add an image and if you scroll down enough you will come across these letters which we can use to kind of mimic that frame effect so in my case, I'm going to go for a short word, just so I can show you how this works, like life. I'm just adding all of my letters here. And using these purple markers, I'm going to try and get the same size for all of the letters. and the final E. Of course, you can also just drag them wherever you want them to be. I'm going to work on the positioning between these, again, using my purple markers. This will do for now. And I will go either to my uploads so I can put in my own image or to photos. And here I will just look for a simple mountain image. Let's just try this one for now. Just click on it and without releasing it, drag it onto your frame. You're going to do the same for the rest of the letters. I'm just gonna go in and zoom this a bit so you can see it better. Right now you have the same exact shot in the letters. So what you're going to do is click on the first letter or just frame and drag this image, release it. And just try to match these like so or just as similar as possible so that you have different shots in each of the letters as much as possible of course I'm going to take this background just click on it once go to my adjust settings go for a higher brightness a lower or higher contrast depending on your needs. I just want to create a simple effect here, maybe add some blur like this, just so I can have my letters pop up. And of course, if you will touch all of these, if you have a large enough image, the letters are supposed to bring in your image together. And again, go to your elements, go for the frames and just do this with anything else you have. I recommend that when you choose a picture, you look for something like a wider image. Here I have searched for the term wide, so you will actually get a few wide shots like this one here, which I am bringing into my letters. Again, I'm adding it to all of my letters and what you can do is click on it and just work with the size as well in case you have a smaller image and again just do it all again like this and you can just match up the images to get a full natural shot like this one here and again if you match up the letters you're technically supposed to get one image and honestly this is such a pretty fact if you haven't used it before you can even try it with shapes. For example, this one that mimics paint. And again, go to your photos and maybe look for something like forest wide. I hope we can find one. Click on free so I can use these images for free. And just add in your shots. Again, move them around as you wish to do. Honestly, this is so fun to do, so you will truly enjoy the process because it's much easier to do than in Adobe Photoshop, for instance. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below so I know that it helped you, and see you soon in the next video. Have a great day!